Welcome back to another God Roll Farm. Oh my goodness. What are we after today? The Soul Render. The Soul Render is a dull assault rifle obtainable from Tom and Zam here in the Heart's Desire. Each of them have a 15% chance to drop it. So every run you have 15% chance from Tom, 15% chance from Zam. What makes the Soul Render so special? As you're shooting at enemies. Now you can't do this while you're just shooting at a wall or whatever. You have to have a red dot on your map. Anytime you have enemies nearby, this thing shoots out homing purple skulls that will do 20 times your base damage as splash damage 20 times 31,514 as splash damage it's pretty cracked how do you do fellow kids now what makes this such a challenging farm is the soul render has a lot of parts a lot of parts so as you can see body body accessory body accessory barrel barrel accessory bolt foregrip grip magazine rail scope fire selector first thing that you want to look for is that you get the fire selector that gives you full auto now now, one quick way you can tell that it's full auto is if the fire rate is less than nine. As you can see, my fire rate, 8.58. Anything that's over, I believe it's over like 9.5. I, I It's been a while. We'll find out today because we're going to be getting a bunch of them. I think anything over 9.5 is going to be burst fire by default, and that's not going to work because what you want is you want this thing to be full auto. Otherwise, you're going to be throwing away some damage. Other parts that are super important for this thing is anything that boosts the damage. This four grip, you need need this grip you need this magazine rail and scope are important you usually don't even bother you know scoping in with this thing you're just gonna hit fire this thing and murder everything in sight generally speaking so the one that i've got right here is a god roll now here's the thing i don't remember how i got this one i don't remember if i farmed this thing i don't remember if somebody gave it to me so me as a purist i want to get my own as we go today we're going to learn about some parts here on borderlands 3 so let's get started guys there is a fast travel right beside their arena so after you've gone through the heart's desire story mission and you beat that when you come back to this map after a save and quit these guys will spawn every time and you can farm them now once you kill them the first time there is a save station right here it's just past their arena and if you want you can actually just run over there and trigger that save station so that you're even closer i mean it's you're like already pretty crazy close and we got a viewer badass right off the bat it's mcnug let's go and kill mcnug first i don't like the way he's looking at me all right let's go with the uh the flipper so we can get this kill quick damn mcnug kill the mcnugget there we go oh mcnug dropped me something already let's take a look all right yep neither of those are what i'm looking for mcnug thank you though we got a binary insider usually have to pay double for that and then an annexed achki damned wow times two damned too bad it's a damned all right <laughs> so let's go i'm gonna put up a farm counter so what we're looking for today is the fire soul render since i've already got a non-elemental one that's a god roll i want to get a fire version that's a god roll all right but here's that save station i was telling you guys about if you just go through this doorway you trigger this now you're gonna spawn right here and you just run out here and they're gonna be standing there so you don't have to drop down from that ledge if that matters to you or not it's still fast either way ozzo from chat recommended that i show you this other option too you can kill one of them since they both have a 15 percent chance if you're on console you can kill one of them take a look all right we got a soul render that's pretty cool but now instead of killing both of them you can actually fast travel up to this fast travel station that we started at and then when you drop back down they both respawn again so if you're on console and you want to farm them fast without having to do the whole save quit reload as you can see boom he's back then this is a way for you to do that oh crap <laughs> wasn't ready to get plowed like that wait what so if you want to save some time off if you're on console this is a very very efficient way to do this but i'm on pc and we got pretty fast load time so i'm gonna kill them both this guy dropped a soul render now this one's non-elemental and as you can see it has a 12.08 fire rate so you know that one's gonna be burst fire i'll show you as you can see down here at the bottom shows the, the burst fire you can also see that this one has the drum mag drum mag is not what we want at all and you can tell that there's a difference in this stock compared to the one that we got here see how this one has like a divide in the stock whereas this other one it has more of like a triangle separation in there so we know that that's not right i'm telling you these guys drop a lot of assault rifles i honestly feel like if you're chasing after the super shredder fire you might have a pretty good chance with these guys because it seems like they drop assault rifles a lot legendary assault rifles but that just might be my imagination too that's a massive insider 
another thing that confuses a lot of people and it's very easy to get confused about this because there's a bunch of different weapons in this dlc the guns love and tentacles dlc that can world drop the soul render is not one of those the soul render can only drop from tom and zam whereas like the insider the old god the anarchy things like that they can drop from all the named enemies in this dlc but the soul render is just right here now again luckily it's a really fast you love the soul render me too it is my favorite gun in the history of borderlands people often ask me what's my favorite gun in all of borderlands history soul render I also like this one that I'm using a lot as well. For those of you guys that loved the Sandhawk on Borderlands 2, oh baby, let me tell you guys about the Flipper. The Flipper is what I'm using right now, and this thing is ridiculous. It's like the damage of the Sandhawk, but it shoots way faster, way more accurate. You can output way more damage. It is just insane. All right, so right now I can tell you we got, we got the right mag. Definitely not the right stock for max damage, I can tell you that much, right? Right off the bat so not the right stock and grip i should say because the grip and the stock are connected on this thing wrong for grip as well so this one's almost definitely not max damage for fire another thing you can tell just by looking at the card 13.29 fire rate so you already know right off the bat that thing is burst fire so that's how hard it is to get a god roll guys that thing was close to max damage right element but then there were so many other things that just weren't right that's how it goes man wrong mag you can tell that the mag is definitely not right wrong grip and stock wrong foregrip yeah that one's way off so we keep going <laughs> what do we got all right that is a shock soul render it is full auto it does have the right grip it has the right magazine it has the wrong foregrip womp womp that's how that's how hard it is to get the perfect one of this man like look we're like you know the the grip and stock are perfect the mag is perfect and then you're like ah the foregrip ah now this one doesn't have the scope so what you can tell by that right off the bat is that it got rail number four so it's an iron sight essentially so if you're into iron sights which i think looks pretty good on this gun then you know that's uh uh, that's one you can go with that's how hard it is to get god rolls on here now one thing that i want to tell you guys because i feel like not enough people talk about this in borderlands 2 we chased god rolls because some of those god rolls were necessary right like a 94 sham you almost had to have like a 90 percent plus sham in order to like sham fleet in order to do like you know a bunch of other stuff right you almost needed to have like a perfect unkempt herald to do damage in op levels you almost needed to have a, a perfect pimpernel and a perfect sandhawk to do damage in op levels in borderlands 3 you don't have to chase perfection you don't you can play and just have fun and use the things that you want like i don't have like a god roll crit for example but it does crazy good damage i don't have a god roll uncome herald on here but it's crazy good but i could chase for those god rolls if i wanted something to do and that's what i like i like that as an option and not almost as like a mandatory thing if that makes sense as sharona and chat said any soul render is good as as long as it doesn't have burst fire if you get one that's full auto you're good you're gonna do crazy damage it's gonna be fun you're gonna have a good time but if you want to chase perfection the option is there <laughs> that's the whole thing out of curiosity <laughs> <laughs> okay i didn't really i didn't really need to do the minesweeper but it was fun to watch <laughs> hey brother the dying i'm telling you we're getting the assault rifles here like crazy so according to don ansdor my awesome moderator he says the drop rate to his calculation is 30 percent chance for the drop rate of the gun because you have tom and zam both with a 15 percent chance so 30 percent if you put it together right 50 percent chance to get all three barrel accessories 50 percent chance for the right bolt one and six for both foregrip and grip one and three chance for the right magazine 8.2 percent for the correct element in the case of what we're going for here two out of three for either full auto selectors bringing that all together equals 0 0.0038 percent or about one in twenty six thousand three hundred forty one <clears throat> So anyhow, I've made terrible mistakes, okay? Shred of fire. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, listen, y'all want a place to go to farm for assault rifles? If you don't want to like go through the hell of like farming Titan over and over to try and get a shred of fire, this might be a viable option. Hold on, I know what we need. This worked last time. So maybe it'll work again. Hey, Precious, how you doing? Can I have kisses? <laughs> All right, now we're getting it, guys, for sure. Look at those skulls. What the hell are they doing? 
<laughs> they ran into each other and exploded. Hey, if you're a badass, it's power. All right, where's my soul render? Oh, hell power. Uh-oh, he got a boost. Oh, what's happening over there? Might have to pull out the flipper for your ass. Nah, we got him. He don't stand a chance versus my skulls. Oh, you guys are trying to do uh, healing, huh? How'd that go for you? Here's the thing about the mag. See, this one's a 45 mag. So you know for a fact that you've already lost some of the damage. Now, I guess you could say, all right, well, but I'm going to shoot it longer. So I'll get more damage over time. Really, the reason you use the soul render isn't for the bullet damage. It's for that skull damage. So you want your base damage to be as high as possible to get the best damage out of this thing. Now, nah, come on you bitches that's the problem with using the schluter i'm going to occasionally get that shit all right well this one's full auto it's got the wrong foregrip it's got the wrong mag it's got the wrong grip just a few issues all right here we got a fire one but okay it's full auto and it's fire so that's already a good start problem is it's missing some stuff <laughs> got the wrong foregrip i saw that already wrong mag wrong foregrip it does have the right regular grip it's got all the barrel parts no it doesn't <laughs> it's missing it's missing the most important barrel part the fire rate damn well wrong mag wrong grip wrong foregrip missing a barrel part yay <laughs> we are having no luck with these elemental drops man the elemental rolls have been very very not good oh man another shred of fire but not time stew not super i was reading chat you guys were supposed to die while i was doing that Radiation soul render. It's got the right mag size. Oh, it's got, okay. I can already tell it's got the right foregrip. It's got the right mag. It's got the right grip. It's got the right, hey, I think we got one. <laughs> I think we got one. It's radiation though. Is that max damage for radiation? It should be because it has all the right parts. That's actually, is that the max fire rate for the max damage one as well? 8.58. Hold on, let's check our other one. Yeah. Oh, shit. So we got a God Roll Radiation. Not bad. Oh my God, we got a God Roll Hellwalker, boys. Look at that. It's got the right grip, got the right stock. It's got the right number of barrels in the sight. Oh, shit, dudes. Perfect. Oh, but it's the wrong element. Ah, I really wanted a radiation hellwalker. <laughs> I was really hoping for a non-elemental one to get higher damage. Hey, if you're a badass, it's Chuck Mangione. Damn, Chuck. Well, Chuck at least dropped me stuff. All the other viewers have been like, nah, you get nothing. But Chuck was generous. Look at this. Chuck dropped me an anarchy insider and a serial killer. Hey, another shred of fire. That's now our third shred of fire, by the way. Well, we got a fire one. It's full auto, <laughs> but it's got the wrong mag. Oy, oy, oy. It's missing a barrel accessory. It's the wrong mag, wrong foregrip. Dude, I just want to say, like, if you're one of those people that says there is no hard farms in Borderlands 3, I got something in my eye. Like, when you say that, uh, oh, I got something in each of my eyes. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, but yeah, anyhow, so yeah, you're probably right. There's probably probably no hard farms, though. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! That was awesome! Oh, 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 there he goes! His people need him! He's trying to get out. Somebody needs to open the ceiling. Oh, oh! He found a way out. And then this guy just levitates on the, above the ground to die. Run 300. 300 runs in one day. Not too bad. We did get one God roll today. It was a God roll radiation. Just in case you missed that part earlier in the video somehow. Where's it at? I think it's a God roll or radiation. Plus it also had uh, killing an enemy sack the weapon damage, which is actually a good annoyment too. So this would have been like a great one even before the Iridium reroll machine, you know? Not too bad. Not too bad at all right there. All right. So final run. Let's Let's see what we get. I'm gonna kill this guy first. Got a barrage. <laughs> oh boy. Does it at least have gangsta lean on it? It does not part. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this additional God Roll farm. If you guys like this one, let me know if you want me to keep going with this. I mean, we did already get a God Roll today on the first episode, but the odds of getting in the God Roll that we won is like one in 20 something thousand. So it could be a pretty long series if we wanted to keep it going. So if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day.